Now the thing about safety is that if you're not careful, you're going to get hurt. It's that simple. Follow these safety precautions before beginning any maintenance on your vehicle. Make sure the engine and exhaust system have cooled completely before performing any maintenance on your vehicle. Always wear eye protection when using power tools, servicing a battery, or working under your vehicle. Never siphon any chemicals or toxic liquids by mouth. If you get these liquids on your skin, wash as soon as possible. Remove rings, watches, and keep clothing and hair away from moving parts. Use an approved jack stand to support your vehicle. Jacks are used to lift a vehicle, not to support it. Allow adequate ventilation when using chemicals and never run an engine in a closed garage. Always use the correct tool for the job. Unsafe shortcuts could compromise your vehicle safety and yours. Keep children and pets away from your vehicle when working on it. And if you're working alone, have someone check on you. Protect yourself by using an approved dust mask when servicing the brake system. Remember, pay attention, work safe, work responsibly. Here are the tools we need. We need an approved waste oil drain pan, a filter wrench, a combination wrench or socket set, and rubber gloves. Here's your oil drain plug. It's located toward the rear of the engine on the passenger side. Using a wrench, loosen the plug and then turn it out by hand. If you don't have a gasket on your drain plug, or if you have one that's damaged or corroding, you need to put a new one on. Let the oil drain into the oil drain pan below. If the engine is cold, it helps if you run it for about five minutes to warm the oil in order for it to drain faster. After all the oil is drained out, start the drain plug back in by hand. Then use your wrench to tighten it up. The oil filter is located right next to the oil drain plug if your engine is a 3.8 liter and near the front of the motor near the starter if it's a 3 liter. We recommend using an oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter because it will give you equal tension all the way around the filter. Reach up and turn the filter out. Make sure your oil drain pan is positioned below to catch the oil that will run out. Also, wipe the oil off the frame. Then just screw your new filter in so that the gasket contacts the base and give it one full turn. Don't use the filter wrench to tighten the filter. Now this is where we refill the engine oil. Remove the oil cap and put it someplace safe so you don't lose it. Refer to your owner's manual and it will tell you just how much and what grade of oil to use. This vehicle usually takes five quarts. Be sure to put the cap back on and make sure it's snug. Go ahead and start the car and run it until the oil light goes off. Pull the dipstick out, wipe the oil off, reinsert it, and pull it back out and read your oil level. The oil reading should be in the crosshatched area. 